It's a bit muddy, isn't it? Oh, I can't say that, can I? <coughs> <laughs> so folks, this is Chester Farm we're going to, Stockfield Road, private property unfortunately, a lot of history. What's the date Carla? Oh, um, oh it's Farmers to say, day. isn't it? Farmed up until the late 1930s or 40s. Carl has done a bit of research on it. Have you, darling? Oh, yes. Good road into it. Keel apparently, and um, when John Wesley Harding, the Methodist minister, came to Alabama and he used to do a lot of preaching. And he came from Chester in Liverpool, or lived near Liverpool. And uh, one day on his way back from Peel to Laxey, he called in here. And on the way, he turned to his mate, or his, whatever they called him. And he said, how far have we got? And the fellow says, well, he says, I think we're at Chester. I mean, when they walked a certain area, that was the mileage. That's how the name stuck, Chester Farm. That's from the 1700s. And of course, there's nobody to dispute it. What's it? by the farmer. like a keel to me. Where are you looking? I oh, just here. Just between those trees. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's stone eye. So we've uh, pursued a few gate openings. And Carl is in the usual discovery mode to spot the keel. Straight away. I love that stone eye they have. Isn't that funny? I've been here a few times. Just don't always remember, do you? <coughs> How did you find out about this? Um, Chris Farger. Mate of mine used to work in Milk Priests. Oh, right. I worked him as a mechanic, he's a good mechanic. Became a fireman and he knew I was doing this lot. I bumped into him, he said, you should go down to Chester Farm. He said, we own it. All oh, right. And of course, not needing a second invitation, <laughs> as you wouldn't, I said, I'll be there. But I'm quite astonished. I was convinced it was in Mike Goldie's book. You no. Kind of threw me a bit when you said it wasn't. No, I've scoured through it. Wow, amazing. 
right there. It's not far away at all, is it? <laughs> Roxy's found a rabbit. Oh dear. Roxy! Yet again, I'm a, kind of amazed at a keel you know, in the middle of nowhere. Look at these tree mushrooms with tree fungus. Have seen them? What? This tree. Look at it. Never seen. Oh wow! <laughs> the mushrooms at the side. Never seen. Whoa! It. Stuff like that before. Good God! It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Get a little picky of that thing. There's a one of its bracket fungus. Hey, look! I'm pretty sure that's bracket fungus. Oh, it's all muddy now. Some will know. <laughs> it's baby bracket fungus. It's amazing. Sugar. That is amazing, you're right. Ah, oh, in my own shadow. Whoa! Shh! Whoa! <laughs> um, careful, girl. Wow, that's very wet. <laughs> right, onwards we go. Haven't seen that. Be enough for an expedition already, isn't it? <laughs> this is a first for me. Ooh. So this is the little keel. Oh wow. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Difficult to believe, isn't it? People are actually pray inside there. It's quite con intact too, isn't it? It is. I was, when I was looking at your book this morning, I was thinking, oh, I wonder if a lot of this would be gone. Because you, you were saying that everything's taken over, but it's not. Well, here we have one of the last spring. I can't flowers. see anyone. What have you found, Penny? Samson's Rock Pulpit Outcrop. Does that make any sense? Yeah, yeah, there's like there's an outcrop of you know looks like Samson's uh, <coughs> statue. I don't know um, where it is. You know what that is, don't you? Yep. I do. It's a rare uh, turning thing for your horses, isn't it? Horse mill. Yeah. So I'm guessing this must have been the barn the mill was in. And there's the one of the uh, mill gearing wheels. We'll go down and have a look at it from the other side. Look, see, can we? This is very boggy here, by the way, Vox is just uh, nearly decked it. It did so wet, didn't it? Oh, <laughs> she's just sank in it. Oh, wow. Are you going? Have a look around here somewhere. There's a building here, isn't there? There is a building there, yeah. Well, you feel free to go first. I'm not going to be very well dressed for the pub tonight. 
So we made it to the barn after sinking through the uh, car puddles. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a water wheel around here somewhere. You're going to have lived with all this water. There is enough water for it. I can't do that. <laughs> Woo. I can even make out the wheel there. There's a bit of machinery in front of it. And below me here looks like a this little bit of machine looks like an old plow to me. Yep. I'm stung. You've been stung a bit. Yeah, don't wear leggings. <laughs> oh look at that fireplace, that's cool. <sighs> Crunk Creeny Brushwood Hill. That's house. it. Is that where the gravel bank? Yeah. Right. Blimey, that's some fireplace, isn't it? Very nice. Wow. So this is the house, is it? What's left of it, I'm guessing, yeah. <laughs> Big stone lintel in it. Up she goes. Skywards. Must have been put in after the house, well after the house was built. Had a little fireplace on the side with a water boiler. Mm. Hmm. So who lived here? Yeah. Mm. Cannells lived here for over a hundred years. Wow. In it, when it was, uh, as a farm was about 30 acres. It's about one field these days. But. Till the 1940s. Yeah. Wow, so it's been empty since then. Wasn't this um, woo, an inn? And people used to stop at it as an inn, you know, like an alehouse? Yep. I couldn't find it in that um, the book. No, it's on the web, I think I found that of as an alehouse. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> right in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? Next to a chapel. Yeah, a bit dangerous, isn't it? It's a bit unforgiving. <laughs> Another outhouse covered in ivy. She's a real bitch, that ivy. She clings to everything. Gosh. Oh, wow, the floor's still there. Bloody hell, I'm not going in there. Why not? Uh, in case it falls on me. Huh. Wow. Yes, it's decayed a lot since the last time I was here. All this floor was still intact. What, the, the roof? The floor, the beams, yeah. they're all up. But this is what I came to see, look. Oh, when I said I'm not coming in. See that? Trough. See that wooden trough? I know it means nothing probably to you, mm. but I reckon that would have been here from day one. They would feed the cows in here. Mm. Oh, it's amazing how nature takes over, isn't it? Oh, so quick. Yeah. You know, it's we think are massively powerful. Isn't it? Nothing. Nothing. So in through one door, out to the other. Okay. I'm intrigued to know where the well is. Well, we'll find it. Don't need a bloody well with all that water. <clears throat> uh, an, unu an unusual for this 
time they've attached the toilet to so how they come out rather than to the side of the house. Look at the state of you, Roxy. God. Like so many of the ruins you visit, the roof's always gone. It's rarely fell in, it's usually sold. And there's the old uh, killer ivy. Hmm. You wonder whether it'd be worth just killing the roots, wouldn't you? I suppose it'll just come back somewhere else. <coughs> so behind the house, uh, the shed, what did you say it was called, Carla? Mm. Something granny, wasn't it? It's, it's supposed to have, it's a gravel bank of some sort. It is called Crunkerini Brushwood Hill. Crunkerini Brushwood Hill. House built into a gravel bank. So what about the 1948 hydroelectric scheme? Well, that was Tell an, us about that. That was another big um, scheme they planned in 1948. They had the brave idea they would turn this whole area into a dam it. Literally. They could have done really, couldn't they? Yeah. The amount of water. It was going to cost £648,000 then. Produce five kilowatts. But no doubt they would have been the same uproar then as there would be now. Ruining the countryside, planning and all the rest of it. And I know we've got um, plans in place to put something in Airy Stain. But speaking from experience, I've got some wind, a windmill, a wind turbine and some solar panels. But it's not, you would never have enough power and it's only for me. So no matter what they do they'll never be able to generate without some sort of backup. The last little building we're going to look at. I'm not sure what this is really. And the last thing to find is a well because the there was one here somewhere. Oh, I'll have to see about this one, I'm afraid. Be a little calf house, maybe. Might be a bit boggy down there. Oh, it would be very boggy, I think. Send you Roxy went. first. All oh, right. Doesn't sound too bad. You just flicked the other one at me anyway. Sorry. There's lots of water over there, but I don't think that's the well, is it? Look at that. It's loads. It's a good idea what it's about. So the uh, main flashing barn's in front of you. The house is connected to it and the buyer was just next door. No shortage of water for the dam. So after a fair bit of exploring and investigating, we actually found the well. Penny. And the well is just under this stone. Which explains why there's so much water in the garden here. I think I'll be able to get over there and have a look down it. I reckon you'll sink to. Eh? You'll sink to your knees. I think we'll try it. Oh, <laughs> oh 
right, okay, I'll just take one for the team, shall you I? You take one for the team, girl. I mean, <laughs> this could be, be our best selling video yet if it gets stuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, Carla's gone, disappeared. Good news, those folks, we know where she is. Oh, <laughs> don't think I'm gonna bother. Oh, go on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Roxy, how deep is it here? That's no, not that bad. Oh. oh dear. <laughs> Excitement too much for him, my love. I would be very careful. I think he'll sink. If you want to see him, they could be in peer down from above. <laughs> Got all that. Hell! You're an asshole. I can't keep saying things like that. I didn't tell you to go down. <laughs> it's not fun. Oh, we need to go down now. We've got sandwiches. You're so jolly about it. I'm sorry about that. I hope you don't fall. You don't mean to. I happily say I don't think anyone will come here. Well, not in the winter after all that rain anyway. I'll go first. So we're going to find a sunny little spot, have one of Carla's famous sandwiches. Where you going, girl? Uh, well, I'm... Uh, <clears throat> Carry on, Viola, it's not that wet there. I'll wait here. <laughs> You're an ass. I hate my life. I did just go up this way, I'm sure I did. Oh God, Ray. <laughs> well, as Carla struggles manfully, the mud, that's the back road here, goes down to the... Uh, Lower fields, as I said, it was 30 acres in its heyday. Maybe I should just run for it. No, don't do that. You let me go first. Yeah, you go first. <clears throat> you do that? Yeah. God, you, I'm on the edge. Living on the bloody edge. Well, you know what they say? No. If you want to live a boring life, go out and get a young man. Right. There was a spot up here I just wanted to have a look at. Carla spotted a nice tree, apparently. Just looks like another tree to me. The light in this time of year is just gorgeous, really. Crystal clear. Not a breath of wind. See, the trusty dogs follow me because they want to protect me. No, it's because you got the bloody sandwiches in your bag. Right, where are we sitting then? Well, somewhere around here, I reckon, in the sunshine. What did you find over there? It's just a tree with the empty bark. Oh. That's a wolf. That's close enough. Oh, tell me about the man and the cat. Yeah, I'm going to tell you a few things about him. Oh, yeah. All right, first of all, I'm going to open up my... It's not cheese and onion. You told me I haven't cheese and onion. Yeah, well, I forgot to buy more cheese at the pub last night. Um, it, I've only got that strong stuff. I was going to mix a mild... Wow! Shit, that's big! Hey. Oh my god. Anyway, I was going to... Do you want to live a shed of life or not? Why, why, what's that got to do with anything? Well, if you're with me, it's not going to be that sheltered. That's what I'm saying. Oh, right. <laughs> um, yeah. The Cannels, or one presumably the Cannel, was a very gregarious individual, quite a vicious sense of humour. And um, a couple of tales I've heard about him. Oh, he's a nice one. He used to catch a train to Ramsey. And he'd uh, 
engage a conversation with all the tourists in Ramsey. And he'd be saying to them, oh, where are you from? And they'd be from Preston or Liverpool or where Manchester, wherever it was. All right. And then they'd ask him, oh, so I've come from Chester. Never actually explaining that it was the name of his farm. So he had a farm sale in 1930. <coughs> he had three cows, three calves, a dozen sheep, a digger plough, some harrows, two horses, and uh, obviously the um, mill. One of the other tales he had was he had a cat which was the pain of his life because if there was anything about it, he shouldn't have eaten it, would he'd eat it. If there's milk put down, he'd be it and knock it over, so he hated this cat. So this particular day, he put the cat in the shopping bag on the train to Ramsey again. Thinking to myself, I'll, get, I'll sort this little kit. I left the cat on the terrace down behind them. Um, was just opposite the big shop right store, the little terrace houses down there. Left it there. Went and had a couple of bevies. As usual, chat with the locals. It's getting late in the afternoon, thought I'd better home and do the milking. Back on the train. Whistling his merry way down the road, thinking his troubles are over. Now yeah, sitting on the doorstep was the bloody cat. He got back before him. <laughs> Why all the tales, who knows? We're actually sitting in the garden. And usually you've got ash trees around here, hawthorn trees. Can Cannell's lived here for over a hundred years. What? The keel. Yeah, I find that quite strange. As he said before in the video, this was a public house as well. So you can go and get yourself tanked up in the public house and then nip into the chapel to forgive, for, for forgiveness on the way home. And the well, I have to say that was the most was that the wettest, scary. What as well you found? Yeah. It was scary though because like, I hadn't even spotted it. And then you, we were stood on top of it, and I was thinking, oh my God, and the amount of water around us, as you've probably seen. Oh, coming from the well, which obviously means it's still flowing. Mm. What was your exciting bit, apart from laughing at me? No, that wasn't exciting, it was entertaining. I think... <laughs> The thing I love the best in the buyer there, there's a little wooden trough. Hmm. That would be used to feed the cows. And I reckon that would have been here from the day the house the cows was built. And when was it built? Well, John Wesley Harding preached here in the 1700s. Hmm. So whether it was a farm then, but it probably would be because that's where the name came from. And looking in the manorial roll, Chester Farm has always been its name, it's not been transferred from somewhere else. Mm. I can hear that bee again. This is another one off our list then. Mm. I never would have found this. You wouldn't have ever caught me rambling around these fields or anything. And with it being on private land, I don't think many others have found it. No. Or if they have, they're, they're not saying. No, you have to get permission like we did. Dipstick. Well, have you got my hair flowing off your head? What are you doing? You don't want to yours. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we need to do, need to pull them out. No, could you just cut them, not pull them out? You know, smell the sammy you are. Don't! Oh, I haven't got much hair. Struck a lady! Struck who? Mm. Mm. 
forward to reckon to happen and out. Have you enjoyed it? Yep. Right, this way. Good job we didn't bring Sammy, really. Why is that then? She hasn't got the shoes for this. Yeah, that's true. <coughs> right, then on we go up over the bank there, up the road, past the chapel, and we go home. One thing's for sure, it's a really shelled little spot, isn't it? Yeah. You're going to say, say something? Oh, am I allowed to speak? Yeah. <coughs> no, I don't have anything to say. I kind of wish they'd get that enlightened. <laughs> you go straight up or we're going up this way? I'm going up the little there. Uh, what do you call this? Something finny or something? Oh. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. It's a gravel bank anyway. 